How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you, sir. Good. This is actually a gift a picture there. Oh, from me to you. The TE stands yeah. for oh. Tommy yeah. Emmanuel. <laughs> so that is a, that is a three-string cigar box guitar, and I, and, I, uh, and I adjusted this thing here so that I know that you're a tall guy. Yeah, I figured, <laughs> I figured that that might. Uh, I'm like, TE. Here's All it. right. So you just you just have to think of this as the, the top and the bottom. You have two strings of There you go. No, 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 no. no look. Power chord. Right? There you go. Ready? Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Well, we're going up. Oh, I got one. All right. You ready? We're going up. We're going down. We're going up, down, down, up. Any way you want to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me doing what you want me to do, baby. What do you want me to do? You got me deep, you got me high, you got me deep, high, high, deep, any way you want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me doing what you want me, baby, what do you want me to do?
heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't. Hang on, go. <laughs> YouTube and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here with the Java caster. This has got the headstock of the Fender Stratocaster but scarfed and with a nut. And I'm tuned E, B, E. And I do have a So let's see here. Let's see what else I can do. Um... Hey, Joe. Where you going with that? here there's finally um uh... so anyhow hope you enjoyed the java caster See you later.
All right, greetings, everybody. Look at what's on the bench. Ah! All right, so this is what's going on. So these Arturo Fruentes, these are the double chateau Fuente boxes. And these make awesome, awesome cigar box guitars. So this is what I do. I take the box and I peel ah, the, the, um, the top off. And I just start peeling off all the paper from both from both the box and the lid. Okay, so this is actually a, a messy, messy job. But what I'll do is I, I take a razor blade, just like this, and I just, you know, just work it. Take all the paper off. It takes me about an hour. <clears throat> sometimes it's like a lot, it's real easy and sometimes it's not. Yeah, like this one here is pretty easy. Um, so anyhow, this is the beginning here, right here. All right, so now that I've got it all peeled and sanded, then what I do is I notch it and block it and spray paint it black. And I also went online and I got me a picture of a Sasquatch. And then I blew it up and blew it up some more. And then I cut it out with the scissors. And then I put it on the top, traced it out, and then cut it out with the scroll saw. All right, so this is what it looks like. Notice that contrast? All right, and so in order to disguise this neck piece going through here, right, I spray painted the inside of the neck wood flat black. So this is the beginning of the Sasquatch. Be sure to stay tuned so you can see how this thing turns out. Cigar box guitar enthusiasts, Del Puckett here with number 94. This one was built about two years ago, and it is an Arturo Fruente box. And of course, the top has been peeled and sanded and painted with seafoam green. And if you look at those F hole covers, you can see that they are rusted green as well. So, this one here does have a three-way switch that goes between a piezo and a single coil. And the uh, neck position, oh yeah, look at this neck. See how it's two-toned? It's a piece of poplar that's got this awesome stripe right down the middle. And of course, I do have the screws for the inlays and screws for the top. There is a back angle. And also, look at this scarf joint. I do have wings and carved top, 
and it's painted black and shellacked. Oh my gosh, this thing sounds awesome. So if you want to hear what this thing sounds like, check this out. All right, greetings everybody. I want to introduce you to Trigger. And yes, you guessed it right. This is modeled after Willie Nelson's old beat up Martin that has a hole worn in it. This one here is a, a Macanudo box that has been severely distressed, sanded and stained. I do have the, uh, the hinge of the nail, a, a rosewood saddle, two matched pair snake oil mini humbuckers. And of course, I sanded them to be distressed. Uh, a three-way switch and a potentiometer that I'll put a volume knob on it. And this is the Pentatonic Plus fretboard, which is basically the blue scale with an extra note here. And I'm tuned E, B. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. 
Del Puckett here. This is Trigger Part 2. Um, and in Part 1, I forgot to switch back and forth between the two pickups to let you hear the difference. And also, I wanted to show you this beer um, cap uh, volume knob that I just uh, filled with epoxy and then submerged the regular volume uh, cap in there and let it dry. And then, of course, it fits on there perfectly. <laughs> All right, so let me take you through the paces here. I'll go on a clean sound on the rhythm channel. And then go to the bridge. Give us some more gain. Back to the rhythm. To the bridge. Some more gain. Back to the rhythm. My friends, trigger the cross at the cross where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I'm happy on the day. When I grow up, I want to be a singer. This is straight out of the Bible, Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined and he heard my cry. He lifted me up out of the pit, out of the mire and clay. And I will sing, sing a new song. Yeah, I will sing, sing a new song. He set my feet upon the rock, I made my footsteps burn. Many will see, many will see and fear, and I will sing, sing a new song, yeah, I will sing, sing a new song. 